know, the past few months have taught us a lot of things. And in particular, I think it's taught all of us how much we love the church. Uh, It's taught us how much we yearn to be gathered with our brothers and sisters in the faith. And it's taught us, I think, how much we desire and we yearn to be inside this beautiful facility. And I want to tell you today that those are good and godly yearnings. And those are good and godly desires to want to be with God's people, to want to be together to worship. And we believe that that day is coming. This morning, your deacons and I met to discuss our phased return to corporate gatherings, and this morning, your deacons unanimously agreed upon the following. First, we will have three more Sundays of drive-in worship services. So that would be May 24th, May 31st, and June 7th. So three more Sundays of drive-in worship, and then we will tentatively plan to return inside our facilities on Sunday, June 14th, beginning which we're calling Phase 2 of our return plan. And we believe this to be a wise course of action for a variety of reasons. First, the uh, the open-air, socially distanced format of the drive-in service allows some of our most vulnerable folks to be able to come and participate. And as we saw Sunday, even come and participate in seeing. So we want to treasure those moments that we have with the drive-in service. Secondly, uh, these extra weeks give us as a church and your leadership, it gives us a chance to to watch our sister churches as they are uh, beginning to tiptoe their way back to gatherings. We're going to watch them and learn from them and see what they've learned along the way that we can apply. And third, these extra weeks also give your deacons and I some time to fine-tune how we can safely gather inside when that phase two begins. For some of you, as we said a while back, for some of you, this tentative plan is too slow. (laughs) You wish that we could already be inside here worshiping. For others of you, I know this tentative plan is is too fast. You think we're not ready yet. Uh, But I want to assure you both, no matter where you are on the spectrum, that that God has blessed our church with some amazing deacons. We have an amazing group of deacons who are eager and willing to serve, and the best part for this discussion is that they have a wide variety of perspectives about how we should deal with the virus, just individually. They have a lot of perspectives on this, but in this particular plan, they are unanimous in their vote, and they're also unanimous in spirit in this particular recommendation. And so we are going to continue to monitor the situation. We're going to continue to keep you updated. But know this, Cedar Rock, that we love you dearly. We are praying fervently for you. And we look forward to the day when we can gather together in worship, both outside and inside the four walls. Cedar Rock, know that we love you. We'll talk to you soon.